Here's how you can use the USB stick on a Chromebook. So let me show you how this works. First of all, we have to plug this USB stick in. How we can do that is the following. So on the side of your Chromebook, you'll see stuff like this. So it will have this SS logo, and this will basically be a, a USB port. It can either be on the left side of your Chromebook, or it can be on the other side of your Chromebook. You have to look for something that's rectangular. If you found it, you can plug it in. Basically, just plug it in one way, and if it doesn't fit in this way, then try to flip it over and put it in the other way. Once that has been plugged in, you'll see removable device detected. Let's go to my files, and then on the left side, you'll see your USB stick. All right, in your files, you'll see right here, this is my USB stick. It will show this icon like this, and now you can open the files of your USB stick. You can do a lot of different things. For example, you can open stuff right here. So if I just double click on this picture, I will see that this picture of a tree is opened up and I can look on it. If I close this down, I can also extract files from the USB sticks into, for example, my downloads. How I will do that is I will click on this tree, I will right click on it, click on copy, then go to my downloads right here, then right click right here, click on paste, and now the picture of my tree is also in my downloads folder. But let's say that I have this screenshot right here that I want to put on my USB stick. How do I do that? Well, basically the same thing. Right click on it, press copy, go to your USB stick, and then right here, right click once again and press paste. Now you've successfully exported your screenshot to your USB stick. Once you're officially done with your USB stick and you don't need to use it anymore, then we have to do one thing in order to eject it safely. Because it can still be processing files, what we'll have to do is right click on this USB stick right there and then click on eject device. The device is now hidden here because it's not connected anymore. If it were still processing files, it will then say I'm still processing files, I'll wait a little bit and then I'll disconnect myself. The last thing that we have to do is just plug it out so you can just pull it out like this and then you're all set and done. That's basically how it works. If this has helped you, I'd say thanks for watching, please like, subscribe.